It's D Boy from West Coast Uncensored. All right, all right. You know what? Um, one thing that's always unpredictable sometimes, people say, even though it can be red, is the weather. You can see the storms coming. I got caught in this one, man. We were having 80 degree days and woke up this morning outside here in Southern California and I said, it's raining. A little surprised. Uh, I didn't see it coming. Took me by surprise. Can be very un things can be very unpredictable in our life, right? Things can come upon us at one time that you didn't know that can turn you upside down. Things that are out of your control. But here's one thing that's not out of your control: is awareness. Sometimes we've gone through life, and sometimes we even do it a little bit. You come out a little bit outside yourself and don't recognize your awareness that you can hold into a higher realm of awareness that we have something that's always with us that's always with us no matter what and always with you think what I'm saying it's always with you it's always with you wherever you go and you know what that is breath think about it as soon as you came out there's been this reciprocal pattern of nature that is connected to you and you really don't have to work at it it's just automatically nature and that is taking in in and out your breath just automatically works as soon as you come out of the mother's womb and take come into this reality what happens you're breathing and it's not something you have to be taught automatically you're taking air in and you're taking air, excuse me you're taking air out so what I was thinking about as time goes on, that this is a natural aspect of ourselves. It's reciprocal. It is so reciprocal that if you take it in, let it out, take it in, let it out. What the breath does, it does not sit and take things in. It automatically takes it in, but automatically lets it go. It takes in, lets go. And by taking in and letting go, this is also a connection to us in our currency and our, and not just currency of, um, remember the word currency is also current. It's our electromagnetics and all that connection to us in our energy basis field. We're electric beings, 75% water electric beings living in living in a living in a, 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 a amazing uh, what do they call the uh, aquarium our body but having that manifestation of electricity through the electricity through the water aspect of ourselves but immediately coming in coming out giving and taking it's also connected to our giving and receiving currency too why are you not magnetizing the things you need you want to create doesn't seem to get kick off connected to that even your money aspect is connected to currency how do I know the word money is connected directly to the moon that's why it's called money it's moony it's connected to that it just is it is it's, it's, it's actually nature But here's the thing is, we breathe in and breathe out and not aware of it, and we remain through our lives not knowing the power of that gift given to us. Actually, the word in the Hebrew actually means spirit, breath, the breath of life. It is connected to us in India. The breath is a fire that ignites you, and then you, when you start understanding that through breathing techniques through yoga and through meditation how that fire works in supplying you with whatever you need first but you gotta you gotta learn the techniques and mastering see we breathe automatically it's our nature but if you want to take your breathing to assist you into maturity you have to become if you start learning it you start becoming a master of your own breath and your breathing 
which will connect with your in and out aspect of yourself. So many times a lot of people just breathe into their chest. They even breathe just into their neck. They really don't know how to breathe. And if you watch anybody who knows how to breathe and using the techniques, it even goes outside into the aspect of being in the, in the military, being a special forces, and the, the frogmen who are in special forces, you know what they know how to do? They know how to hold their breath without any other device supplying, it, supplying them with oxygen because they learn these techniques and they can stay underwater more than somebody who doesn't know these techniques. They can stay under the water minutes, I think, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minutes. Some may have stayed more because they oxygize their self. And what that does, it starts activating your bloodstream and activating parts of your body and your consciousness that you're able to draw things. And then you can take this, this, the, this breathing techniques and it's connected to when things don't come to you and you're trying to create something and there's things you need or want and you're trying to bring it to you and it doesn't come to you, you're not breathing into it because you're not connecting, you're repelling it away from you. You're pushing it away. But when you breathe into it, into the creative factor of knowing how to breathe and connect, it will assist you because the assistance, what it's going to do is open up that wave of coming in, going out, coming in going out, coming in, and it's connected to even your creations, your current, your currency. And what that will do will, will help you receive the things that you need because it's also the, the taking, the giving, the taking, the sowing seed, reaping, sowing, receiving, bringing, taking, and mastering it will allow you to tap into other sides of your stealth while they tell us all we use is 10 percent i'm tired of they who are they how do you know that we haven't tapped into more you, you, your measurements may not be the measurements that many of us have tapped into ourselves and learn how to breathe into a different realm so why i'm saying this the very thing and here's another thing i have a lot of people that you know i've talked to i do a lot of counseling i mean i've been a counselor for 30 something years through different aspects of what i did and even into uh, working in mental health and things I did. This is and even into sports. Like they used to, you know, coach sports for a year. People who know how to breathe in sports make plays in the fourth quarter when they're when others may tire and not have the energy. They're able to to take it and go to that zone. That's what that zone is. They've taken themselves in their their uh, cardio, which is connected to the heart, but it's also connected that they have air because they learn how to breathe. So why am I saying this? If the very thing you came out with that's connected to you out of your mother's womb was breath, and you understand that, and I have many people, and here's what I'm going to tell you. This is why you have to have awareness, or you will suffer things out of not knowing. I don't want to say ignorance, but it is. And ignorance isn't always calling, it's not like calling these people stupid. It's just, you don't know. Is I have people, I'm lonely. You're not lonely if you understand breath is always with you. And if you understand breath is always with you, you're never alone. Just a food for thought from the top of the head, from the top of the skull. From the top of the skull, revelation knowledge. This is D-Boy from West Coast Uncensored. And I will be dropping the part two of the Ladder of Lights here real soon. Have a great day.